Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the Dark Fallout Experience. By popular request, I might add, I had a vote on who wanted to see what and this is the one that came out the most. So I've been working on the mod list. So similar to Dark Skyrim, it will have some some parts that aren't that vary from the normal vanilla stuff and then some of it will be vanilla stuff but with other elements added. I hope that made sense because it didn't make sense to me. Right, okay. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to see where the game takes us. Now I do have a habit of role playing quite harshly when I do fall out. So this will be a case of we will see where the story takes us. Da, 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 da. As, before, as, with, as with the Dark Skyrim experience, there is a lot of... There is a lot of content in here to get through over time. Should we come across it? <clears throat> War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. And there are some very valuable lessons to be learned in that statement alone. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. So, I'm not okay. sure... My turn, big guy. If Bethesda just made mistakes or whether they intended it to appear like an alternative version of our reality. But a lot of the things that were being said in that video didn't actually happen in our in our real life timeline. Like the nuclear power becoming uber accessible and then everything sprouting up before the 21st century even started. Of, you know, robots, things like that. Obviously, that never happened in our timeline. So I'm assuming that they either intended for it to be running on an alternative version of our reality, or they just simply messed their history up. I don't want to say which, because I don't know. Right, I think what we'll do, 
we need we need to create a uh, these 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 presets are always really terrible. Professor are well known for their inability to <laughs> to create good character presets. As Skyrim is no no better. Let's see what we can do with it, shall we? <clears throat> uh, you look as good as the day we met. Yeah, she looks awful, mate. She looks awful. So don't even say that. It's weird. It's weird for you to say that. I say so, therefore it is. I think Sean has my eyes. You need narrower thingy bobs. Right. <clears throat> let's make your face go a bit a bit less. I'm probably going to make it worse, but let's make your face go a little you bit less lovely. weird. Let's change your hair colour, because that colour is... Is that radioactive hair? I don't know. Okay. Um, Colour! Let's change it to something more desirable. Oh, yeah. yeah, that works. Yeah, so you say. Right, <clears throat> let's add some, some stuff. Let's make those freckles a bit more pronounced. And add some new ones. <clears throat> Every time I see that face, I fall in love with you all over again. Now, this is pre-war, so she wouldn't have any scars or anything just yet. Or we can add those in, as and when it becomes relevant. Right, that mouth is too far up. It needs to be down more. No. That looks nice. No, I meant that way, yeah. Okay, eyes! Let's have a look at the eye colours then. Let's do some things with the eye colours, shall we? Her eyes look really big for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> Dude, these eyes look. These, these eyes all look strange. Like everything in Fallout looks strange. Oh my god, what's going on with the eyelashes there? Okay, yeah, let's do that. I fell in love with. Right. I want to know why these eyes are so massive. How do we change the eyes so they're less massive? Uh, do, 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 do. Do. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. I don't know about that, love. Right, okay. No, now your eyes look weird. Why? Why did that happen? Okay, right, good. I think that'll do for now. We'll see what happens in later in character development to decide how she ends up looking. Right, okay, I think that'll do. <clears throat> now, what I need to decide is... Are we starting with the vanilla questline? Uh, well, the, with the vanilla start, or am I already in the Commonwealth and is this all a dream? Okay, well, we need to decide that. I'm trying to think what I want, to, how I, how I want to achieve this. Um, I think what we'll do. I want to have in this particular run, because of the some of the mods I've got and what they do. I want to um, have the vanilla quest line with Chorn, but. I don't want to... Yeah, let's just do it for Nilla, because that way we... Everyone's on the same page, aren't they, then? This is a memory. Let's stay here a while. This is... Ah, good morning, Me dreaming of the past. The past. You're a very shiny robot. That reflection is not right. Your reflection. There is a thing behind you, be, behind behind me, with brown bits in it. But there, there isn't over there. It's white. What are, what are you doing? Don't reflect things badly. Don't reflect things the wrong way. It's weird. Ooh. Nuka Cola, ice cold. I like cola, but I've never had Nuka Cola because it doesn't exist in real life. Looks like the milk got delivered. Yes, it did. That's very perceptive of you. Oh, sound like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Oh, love is a thing. 
Uh, what am I doing? I wasn't paying attention. Robot's there. That's good. The robot's doing the, 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 the baby thing. The robot's doing the baby thing. That's good. <clears throat> it's nice to have a robot that does the baby thing. What's this say? More of the same. Not a lot. Hello, Mr. Television. Stuff! Oh, God, there's someone coming to the door. Dude, there's a guy coming to the door. Don't like this. Who are you? Who is he? Uh, it's that salesman again. Oh, salesman. What do you want? Good morning. vault -Tec calling. I don't care. Who are you? vault -Tec? Oh, my God, I look hideous. Remind me again. I look Why, hideous. About you, so does he. And helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder <laughs> of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Mm. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. Are you sure about that? Because you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I don't know how anyone would be able to live a long enough lifetime to come out of one of those vaults when they go in before the destruction is cleared. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? I look hideous, but love me. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> So you are. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... Oh, bollocks. I just realised I forgot to put it on survival mode. I don't want it on any other mode. It must be on survival mode. Otherwise, um... Yes, I know. Just going to make sure it... <laughs> yeah. A precious <laughs> commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, our country. you have been pre-selected for uh -huh. entrance into the local vault. Well, that's good. Vault 111. Well, let's enjoy that. Let's enjoy that. But is there enough space for everyone? I mean, I've got a kid and a robot and a, a, and a, and a husband over there. You know, there's, there's things happening that but require I have space. A family. You can fit us all, right? Of course. Of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. You're robotist. It's just a matter of verifying some information. I want my robot don't with me. I want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. I don't think unforeseen is the right <laughs> word. Moment. I don't think it's on the right word there. I'm, uh, I'm going to be sarcastic now. <laughs> the apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, that is now, the spirit, isn't it? Let's see. Ah, right. I don't know what my character's going to be called. Uh, Emily Thornborough. <laughs> there we go. Stupid name for a stupid looking person. Okay, now this is one thing that's always bothered me. In the lore, officially, Nora was... Nora, meaning the player character before they've named them, um, was a, uh, a lawyer. And her husband, Nate, was ex-army. So if I put loads of points into physical strength and stamina, it's not going to make sense because she led a pretty mundane life up until this point. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put two points into each of the uh, physicals. And then, because she was a lawyer, we're going to rely on perception, intelligence, and charisma mainly, I think. And then we're going to shove some in luck, just because. Why not? There we go. Wonderful. Good. That, um, Bye. Thanks again. Hey. Goodbye, salesman. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, probably. No price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. I have my moments. Miss Emily, Sean what? has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. Probably because he hates you. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? Yeah, whatever. Mmm. Mmm. Hi, Sean. You a good boy. Yeah, I'm gonna My put you boy in a chicken. isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? 
I think he likes causing trouble to young Sean. Yes, he does. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. <sighs> Listen, Ooh. after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Why did I marry you? You have weird teeth. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. She's not even looking at you while she's talking. That says everything, Come really, doesn't it? <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah, Codsworth. What's the matter? Is the world about to explode? By... Because I suspect that's the case. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Flashes! Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost what did he say? He said that the world's blowing up. Oh no. We do, we do have. We yeah. do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Well, we should probably go and do that uh, vault running thing then. Just to go and do that. Yes. Now. Let's go and do that then. I can't remember how to run. There we go. I hope you've got the boy because I'm running away now. Yes, I am. Hello. I will go wherever I please except for the places where I won't. Bye. I'm going in. Prepare for the future. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting. Seriously. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. Hi. We need to get in. We're on the list. You didn't let the employee of check in. That's very naughty of you. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Come on. I'm going in a hole over here because it's the only sane place to be. Step on the platform in the center. Yeah, I will step on the platform in the center. I will. Yes, look at that. I'm not even in the center. I'm near it. I'm near the center, but I'm not in it. Almost there. Is Sean okay? Am I okay? I don't know. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my God. Well, William Rublev and Shepherdenton. Oh, God. No. 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 Down, 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 and stay down. Can we take naughtiness? That was a noise. I don't know what that noise was. It sounded like a clicky noise, really, didn't it? A clicky noise of clickness. We made it. Oh. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator. Yeah, everyone we'll out of the way. Come on, move. Come on, chop, chop, out of the way. Don't worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. Oh, we'll believe it. It happened. No, no, we don't. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Female. Hi everyone! Step over to the table and take a suit. Is that for me? Welcome. Thank you. Pick up a suit right over there. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. Alright, you three. Follow me. I'm going over there where the man went. Are you showing us where to go or what? Come on. Chop chop. Chop chop chop. Move it. Move it. Move it along. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. I don't think so. I think you're a silly person. Yes, I do. How long do you think we'll be down here? Forever. We'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Yeah. Medical items. It's decided to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? I'm going to be prepared for nothing. No. Come on, give me things. What am I doing now? What am I doing now? Just step in here and ah, put your vault suit on. I will step in here and put my vault suit on. That's what I will do next. <laughs> Bye. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Don't you look at me in that tone of face. I don't like it, you creepy, creepy doctor man. This doesn't feel like luxury accommodation to me. 
This feels like an experiment about to go horribly wrong. Procedure yes, it does. <laughs> In ah. five, four, Don't cryogenically freeze me, it's naughty. Two, I did not give you consent. I did not give... I did not give consent for this. No, I did not. Where's my bed? Give me a bed. One with beddy bits in it. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Tell me. This is the one. It is, you know, that's the one. That one. Hey, oh, wait a minute. That's my partner. My partner's pod. Open. Don't open it. Don't you do that. No, that's very naughty of you, that is. No. Oi. Open this bloody door. Why don't mine get opened? Why doesn't mine get opened? Let go. No, don't let go. Don't stop it. Stop it. No, no, that is a very bad thing to do. Don't do that. Well, that was good. That was just. That was just uh, don't take the kid. Oh, dear. You look like you got rust on your face, sir. You look like you got rust on your face. Face rust. Face rust. Open this bloody door. Why have I gone out again? No, it's naughty. There's going to be a... Let me... Oh, I'm gasping for air. Let me out of this place. Let me out of this place immediately. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Kind of figured that. Now look, you did things. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God. That was a timely malfunction, wasn't it? Mm. Hello. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. <laughs> right. We're on the trail. Let's go and hunt down this heat. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. Oh dear! Oh, that's a big cockroach, isn't it? Oh dear! I don't like that. Don't like that at all. I don't. Out of the way! Way out of the way! I'm gonna smack you in your tiny face. Yeah, steal your, steal your face bits. Ha <laughs> Oh no! I don't want to sit down. Get up! What the? Heck? No! Don't sit. Bloody sit down! Get get up! Get up! Get up! <laughs> Stop it! I want beer bottles because they're useful. I can fill them, fill them with things I can, yes. I ooh, a cigar box. Oh it's always useful, isn't it? I'm gonna pick everything up because I, I've decided I'm gonna need it. I will store it when I get a chance. I will get a chance eventually. Ooh, let's fill those bottles up. Yes. Uh, give me water. Give me all of the water. Give it to me. Mm, I need all of the water. It's very useful to have water. It's very useful to have water. It is. Yes. Right, what else are we going to... No, nothing else in here. Right, okay, let's go elsewhere then. Oh, there's more bottles there. Oh, there's another, another cup there as well. Is that another bottle? Is that another? No, it's a cup. Right, let's fill that last bottle up. Yeah, we never know we're going to need that stuff, do we? Ah. Ow! Oi, give. Give me that meat. I'm going to go over here now. I am. I'm going to go over here. Hello! Smacky, smacky! Hi, you're right. Ah, what? Yes. Bats cancel! Very rude, that is. It's very what rude. Certain events can make you ill stuff. Oh, that's everyone? good. It's always good to know, isn't it? Smack 
Tiddies. <laughs> I'm going to heal myself with water. Yes, I am. I'm going to drink all of it. Drink all of the water. Drink all of it. Always good to do the water dance. Ooh. <laughs> now we're talking. I've got... Why is it doing that? Right, I have picked up things. I have picked up things. What have we got out here then? Oh, oh. Ooh, preserved packet of cigarettes. I feel like I'm going to be chain smoking by the end of this because of anxiety. Antibiotics. Can never have too many of those. Can never have too many of those. Ooh, hi. More weapons. More weapons and stuff. <laughs> Ooh, cry it later. Nice. Coming back later for you. Can't get in there right now, but I want to. I'm coming back for it at some point in the distant future of the past, maybe, possibly, if I remember. Or if I can be bothered. Open evacuation tunnel! Mm -hmm. oh, let's have a look at some of these logs then, shall we? <clears throat> Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Ah, oh, well, that explains a few things, doesn't it? Naughty. Your staff will be on a short-term assignment to monitor basic uh, cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by fault tech technicians. Under no circumstances, suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Ooh, so you're not even allowed to let them out if they're dying. That's nice, isn't it? Your staff is also considered expendable. Oh, that's lovely. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method of uh, for cata cat cadaver disposal. I lost my ability to speak for a moment there. I don't know why. Cryo later. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on demand form. The cryo later is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and compounds I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. You mean that all-clear signal that's never going to come. Operation Protocol Manual. Resident Admittance. Upon activation, notice from Vault Tech. All personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with the admittance of the Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pods. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcibly, forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. So that, that those people that were being kept to the side when we came in, they basically just killed them off. That's lovely, isn't it? Science staff! Member of the research team must daily mon members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents, cardio and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than eighty percent of the residents' population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. Well, that's just lovely. Ah, security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of in intrusion. From what? Checking for atmospheric leaks. Settling disputes among personnel. Enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer. Enforcement of regulations set forth by the Vault, by Vault Tech. Facility services and maintenance do not Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications. Such as, oh, so they weren't even qualified to do what they were doing. Such as janitorial duties and food preparation. Oh, I see, okay. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer discretion. Mm. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazardous hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive all on, 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 an all clear notice. Upon receiving the all clear notice, Vault Tech personnel may be evacuated. 
at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organisations or individuals not associated with vault -Tec, including government and military. Residents are not to be dis dis disrupted or evacuated. vault -Tec will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. Ah, Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of the of an all-clear message from vault Tech and the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days. I really don't think that would be enough. Of all contain after after a mandatory uh, uh, oh days of all containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving and the all clear message from Vault Tech. Well, this is all wonderful stuff, isn't it? Oh, they're all not very nice. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in the Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled and several from Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. Yeah, okay. It's happened. We were lucky. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods, right? Okay. So, they, they're bastards, basically. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appears to be having, a heart, having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realised almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. Is that me? Is that me? We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an, 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 an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Oh. There's been no all-clear signal yet. Even though we're nearing the end of the 180 days mandatory shelter period, supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we could just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. Yep, okay. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not open the door to be irradiated to death. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritising who deserves what little food we have left. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, okay. So basically, they're all a bunch of bastards, and we were tested on a thing. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, little rat roaches of love. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> now look. Look, you disgusting little rodent. Stop it. Stop it. Stop hitting me. Yeah, you little bitch. Suffer the wrath of my pistol. That's what I say. That's what I say. I do. Right. Let's move along. I don't know what we're doing now. Oh, hello. <laughs> I sneak up on you. <laughs> yeah. Boomy, boomy, boom, boom. Boom, boom shoes. Ha. I found a thing. I found a thing. What be this thing? It's a thing that I have. 
It's a box with the screen on it. That's always good, isn't it? There's some very strange knobbly bits. Knobbly bits of strangeness. Knobbly bits of strangeness. No, 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 no. Knobbly bits of strangeness. Ah, well, I, 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 I yeah. I'm going to put those eyeglasses on. I am. Yes, look at me doing that. Da 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 da. Well, this has all been a very stressful experience. This has all been a very stressful experience, hasn't it? We all have ourselves a cigar and calm down. Come on, open up. Come on, open up! Come on, open up! Come on, open up! It's a bloody big door, that is! Seriously, I was able to smoke a cigar. A whole cigar in the time it took you to open that gate, you know, open that door, you silly computer. Yeah. That was all very ridiculous, wasn't it? It's all very ridiculous. frozen in there rather a long time. I think I probably would have lost some weight. I also forgot to do the weight thing last time. No, don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Stop it. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Well, hmm. If the conspiracy theorists are to be believed, Earth has been visited by an alien species on several occasions. These... Couldn't finish that because it disappeared too fast. Yes, it did. Well, this all looks rather bleak, doesn't it? <sighs> Sorry, just mod setup stuff. Right, now, speaking of mods, before I continue... I'm going to load the configuration. One I made earlier, as they say, so that I don't have to go through it all and set it all up. Right, good, marvellous, excellent, gibbering dirtles. Stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Look at that. More stuff. There's just so much bloody stuff to be had. And as you well know, people, I like stuff. Ah, there's a fan there. Look at that. Oh, some cram meat. There's some cram meat and some more things and a silver locket. Ooh, what's this? Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Steal all the things. Steal all of the things and stuff. Do 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 Oh, hello, Codsworth. You're still here. As I live and breathe. You don't do either of those things. Oh, it's, it's really you. It is really me. You're correct about that. What happened? Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills... I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. 
I'm sure they. Where is your better half, oh. by the by? Uh, he's kind of dead, actually. Oh, he's, they... kind... he's dead. He's deaded. They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things. I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Don't you dire mood me, Sonny Jim. Look, he's been taken. Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? <laughs> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Are you a doctor Dying now? Properly for two hundred years will do that, I'm afraid. Well, it that's nice. I look, just answer me. God damn it! Tell me what's going on. Two hundred years? <sighs> that's insane. A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Are you all right? You are you acting a bit strange. Surely you're not completely oblivious to what's been going on. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I, I, uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the <laughs> floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! Oh dear. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, <laughs> the car! How do you polish rust? Okay, then. Look, stay with me and stop acting like a strange person. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Well, I suppose that's something. Well, it's something. Let it serve as a reminder, Mum, of happier days. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighbourhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Well, I very much doubt that, uh, but yes. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> oh my God. He's completely demented. What's He's all found you. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, level two. Level two. Let's make my pistol stronger. Yes. Well, that didn't quite go to plan, did it? Aha! Ha 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 Hmm? Not this time. I was just I blew them up. Look at me blowing them up. Look how brilliantly I blew up those those things. Where where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of their bits? Miss Emily. Yes. What? What? Hey Cartworth. What? Miss Emily. Sir and young Sean, they aren't here. Oh, he's out there somewhere. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? 
plenty of people there. And at last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. <laughs> I like these. Yeah. I like these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along then and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Well, before I do that, I need to make use of some of the stuff that I picked. Oh, my. Silver. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, workshop. Let's do stuff with that. See what we can achieve. Transfer. Let's get rid of all my junk. Put my junk in there. <laughs> well, that was boring. Oh well. At least I managed to do something with it. Let's make sure that I have the upgraded one equipped. Yes, I do. Right. So we got that. I uh, kind of need to make a, a haven for myself so that I can rest and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Let's clear this, clear this crap out of the way. Maybe we can make ourselves a little, a little bed or something. Yellow trench coat. Ugh, I'm not wearing yellow. That's disgusting. <laughs> right. Let's see if I can build myself a little. Ugh, see if I can build myself a little haven. Haven. Right. What else have we got? What else can I do stuff with? 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 Let's have a look at resources, shall we? We need a... We're going to need... Stuff. Water. That's going to be a primary need. I need concrete to build a water pump. Where am I going to find bloody concrete except a, like, broken dead house or something? There we go, look at that. Got myself a little water pump. Yeah! Look at that. Need to straighten it up. Don't like things when they're wonky. No, I don't. Wonkiness is bad for... No! I just accidentally scrapped my water pump that I just made seconds ago. Let's build another one now. God's sake. God's sake. God's sake. Right. Good. What about food? I don't have a possession of any food right now, but at least I've got water. Uh right, let's have a look around. There might be some there might be some useful things around. <sighs> Oh, what's that? Oh, look, there's a, a cooking stove thingy. <laughs> you can piss right off. Are there any more of you lurking around? Yes. Okay, let's move. 
Let's move the cooking stove somewhere more handy. Bubble, 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 right. I'm gonna plonk this here. <laughs> yeah. Not the most desirable thing to nom on, but I guess it might be necessary. <clears throat> right, apparently I'm tired. Let's go sleep in the bed beds. What time is it? First. Oh, it's only one in the afternoon. We can reset our tiredness later. Right. Okay. So. We're going to go and investigate Concord, apparently. That's something we're going to go and do. We will go and do that. Yeah, we will. We will go and do that and make a hill out of arrows. I'm going to use my cigarette trick to save the game. Just in case we get murdered and stuff. Yeah, don't want to get murdered and stuff. Being murdered and stuff is not fun. No, it isn't. Being murdered and stuff is a terrible thing to happen, ever. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's go and do stuff now that we're all readied up. Oh god. I've got thirst problems now. I've got thirst problems now. Do 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 Okay. And grenades! Oh we <laughs> need Certainly need some of those, don't we? Yeah! That could be very handy. You never know, do you? Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Oh yeah! <laughs> That looks better than my naughty jumpsuit, doesn't it? Do 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 Oh hello Hi You good boy Hey boy What are you doing out here all by yourself? What happened to your owner? You lose your owner, buddy? Stop being cute, it's illegal. Let's stick together. It's illegal. It's called manipulation, that is. Come on in, doggy doo. Right, don't stand in the way of my grenades, which I'm about to throw. Oh, I see you there, insects of naughtiness. <laughs> Dog meat, slow down. Don't go running off in stupid ways. It's very silly of you. Very silly of you indeed. Oh, there's a child over there. That's a bit, a bit strange. I don't know whether I should trust you. No, I don't. Hello? Hey there. Can you help me? I don't know. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing out here? I'm looking for help, silly. There's a bunch of ragers around the corner. So I'm staying here. Okay, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? It's my friend Murphy. 
He went to the family store, but it's been a while, and I'm starting to worry. Can you check on him for me? Uh... Where are your parents? You should look for your parents. Where are they holed up? In Quincy. That's where my mommy died. I don't know about my dad. My mom said I would get to meet him someday. Does that little scam actually work on anyone? Does that little scam actually work on anyone? What's a scam? Um... All right. Okay, I'll try to help. Really? Thank you. It's the big yellow building down the street. Can you bring Murphy back safely for me, please? You talk weird, kid. You talk weird. All right. Well, I'm getting myself in a muddle. Right. Where, where's this building then? I don't think I'm going to like this very much. There's probably more to this than the meets the eye. That child had sucker punch written all over her. Meaning I'm about to get sucker punched by whatever she's devised. 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 Ooh, stuff. What's all this then? Shoplifting prevention. Don't think we need to read that. Blood drive. Successful last year's epic blood drive. We'll once again be holding a blood drive. Doesn't sound very useful to me right now at this moment. Margarita party. Oh dear, these people had fun lives, didn't they? This one's marked with two stars. I suspect this is important. Everybody, got some news. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? Sounds What's of happening? explosions. Did you hear the news? We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Well, what's happening? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, that is bad news. We, we do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Oh no. Confirmed report. Confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York. Oh my God! It's happening. Pennsylvania. Oh God! My God! Oh God. So it's finally happening. Oh. Is there a reason this is on the hollow tape? Oh, it's holding the actual weather, but it's not the current situation. Get out of here. God, it's so loud. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Stop talking in my ear! Right. Workshop etiquette. Not many of us are reading the terminals in these dark times, but in the event you are, come on in and appreciate your surroundings. Life out there okay, is exhausting. A place like this could be... You can be yourself. I can trust you alone. Right. There's a door opening somewhere, apparently. I heard a door open. I heard one. I did. Oh, it's up here. Look at that. Oh, there's another door there, but it's locked. I think we're going to save the... Uh... game before we go wandering through this door because I've got a feeling I'm not going to like what's on the other side. <laughs> oh, the door opened by itself. That's creepy. Is there a ghost? Is there a ghost in here? I'm not very fond of spirits, you know. Apparently it wants me to go through that door, but I'm going to have my thing first. Right. Oh, bloody hell, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was a trap.
Oh my goodness. Oh God. Why have I taken my apparel? I've still got my gun. Oh dear. Oh no, this is awful. What's going on? Do not like this. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this. Oh dear, this is horrible. Yes. Do I still have my cigarettes? Save the game, save the game, save it, save it now. My God, there's other prisoners. There's other prisoners. Why am I the only one whose clothes they nicked? Slave, says on the wall there. Don't like the sound of that. I do not like the sound of that. I do not know. The flesh parlor. Oh, this can't be good. Hey, you. Hey, What's water. going on? Hey there. So damn hungry. Rule breakers will be slot, shot, or worse. Hello. Just don't hurt us. I don't want to hurt you. I want to want to help. I want to help. Dirty black suit. Oh, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. At least I have clothes now. And I've still got my gun. I suppose that's a small mercy in itself. A chef hat? Seriously. Hello! I am Chef McSmart Suiter. Don't. All of this is metaphor. All of this is a metaphor. I'd like to know how. A metaphor for in what sense and regarding what? Explain yourselves. All of this is a metaphor, apparently. A metaphor for what? That's what I would like to know. Who's there? Ah! It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why what? sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing. And they'll make you remember everything you read. Quick, What's going on? Quick book. Of course, mother. Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and stimulants. Stimulants and nutrients. Weaving taste and performance together in a potent breakfast cocktail that'll provide a day-to-day -day <laughs> breakthrough in your child's life. I can see the future. Sugar bombs may last up to 12 hours. After that, it's anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies last. Half free? Cereal has seldom been so crispy, so fresh when it hits your <laughs> stomach, blasting your brain with As I heard someone outside, we're saving the game again. Delight. Sugar bombs are built from the ground up to prime you for lunch. I thought the game was meant to save when I have those. Do I have to be standing up? I want my glasses back. Who stole my glasses? Who stole all of my shit? More to the point. I want my stuff back. I do. Oh, that there's a thing on that on that uh, picture that says "Lean in." I'm gonna do that in a second. I want to know what that's all about. I want to know what that's all about.
Right, save. The game's been saved. Okay, let's have a look. We're in some real trouble here. Yeah, I can see that. I would help you, but it doesn't let me. I want to unlock your cuffs, but I can't. Lean in. What am I leaning into? Right, I heard someone out here, which is why I saved the game. Shut up, dog meat. Shut up, dog meat. I don't know where I am. What's that noise? What the? Dog meat, get out of the way! What the? I'm not here. I know it was something. Password. Requires a key. Well, I don't have a key. I don't have a key. Well, apparently my belongings are over that way. No. Terminal only. So the terminal... Do I need a key for opens this, I assume? Which means I'm going to have to go in here, and I know that's where the voice I heard is coming from. This isn't going to be very fun. The one room I can open is going to be full of nasty people, isn't it? Got it. Oh. Hey. I think I got something. No, you haven't. Oh god, he's really strong. Tear you apart. Doing this the hard way. Ah. What happened? Why have I just teleported halfway across the room? Well, that bugged out. That bugged out really badly. That bugged out really badly because I just teleported across the room for some reason. Do I still have my... No, of course I don't still have my grenades. Why would life be that easy? This is going to be fun, isn't it? All right, so I've got no way to kill... This dude's going to be way stronger. Yes. That I'm capable of uh, putting up with. Okay. Up. Up. No. Oh yeah. Do I have any stim packs? <laughs> Ooh. Something on edge. I've got Another things bottle. I have. Um, why is my third person camera gonna all ski with? Still got my chef's hat on. I think we can probably take that off now. So now I look like a security guard. Right, so he had the key that I needed, didn't he? Okay. Right, so I assume I need to... Whoa, was that a...
I'm not here. Nothing. Damn. Dog meat, stop running around. You're distracting. Damn. When a new fish arrives, they are to be... Have things removed, disinfected and subjugated to a full cavity inspection. Blah, 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 blah. Did you do that to me? Because I didn't give you consent to do that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. All personnel possessions are to be catalogued, boxed up and stored. The traps are for show. Most of them should be kept deactivated, but please remember which ones are alive. Radio ads should be played over the intercom at no longer than 10 minute intervals to ensure continual disruption of prisoner sleep patterns. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Remember, the concept of a prison is quite simple. Freedom, movement, access, blah, 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 blah. But it should also, it should be more so much more it's a place where dignity privacy and control are given up to the guards i don't think we want to read that anymore lockdown in response to the latest prisoner uprising please do execute mail radio slays finding buyers for the repair open the door open the door open the door that i need to go through wherever that it may be it's that door isn't it Right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna exercise our ability to save. Must go. What the? Up here. I'm not here. Dog me, don't you dare go running off. I'm gonna save the game. God. I'm surprised I've got any lungs left. Because I've got a feeling we're about to get hit by another guard and I don't want to have to do all this again. No, I do not. I look like a prison guard now. Should I? Is that what I should look like? I don't know. I don't know. This is all very upsetting, really, isn't it? The dignity of robot sausages, that's what I say. God, there are so many traps. Right. Value is relative, but relatively what is value? Oh, no. At Fallon's, each price represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value that also takes luxury into account. Really? Mass production techniques may have brought things up to speed, but it's time-honored, well-worn, oak and varnish tradition that really keeps things classic. Ah, Dog meat, do not run into that sensor. Stop being dangerous. Gotta find the terminal. Oh, not another terminal. That means there's gonna be another guard to fight, isn't there? Oh dear. Sweet. Dog meat, get out of the way. Something out there. You thrilled in the silver shroud. You must shivered at the adventures of a single man. All the science would take Piss progress off. tomorrow. Now, next week, an exciting new series begins, chronicling one man's journey into the mind of a communist. It's true. Oh I God! I shrunk didn't see myself that. down with my atomic relay and managed to pass through space on a molecular level. Deep under the earth, I built my fortress, an impregnable fortress that cannot be reached by normal means. I call it the University. While down there, right. So this is the I have planned. Upper level. I have experimented. Shut up. I implanted 
invented a control chip on the brain. This is the upper level of where we were just now. That allows them to pass through, as it were, to travel between worlds. Put a helmet on. On their brains? Yes. Yes, on their brains. I've learned so much about what it means to be a communist. An astounding revelation of man's cruelty next week on The Brain of Dr. Darius Testardo. How about we don't do that? Yeah. How about we don't? I don't trust any of this. There's going to be something bad in there. I see you, naughty trap. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything useful in here. Other than that workshop, which I don't think I'm going to be using right now. Oh. Ah, oh, there's a terminal. There's a terminal! It's a different terminal to the last one. Which door did that open then? I'm expecting some sort of trap in here. Terminal's got this locked. Uh, is it going to be that terminal there? No. Terminal's got to be somewhere. I thought it was this terminal, but obviously not. So, that's the only terminal I found, but it's not the... Ah. Aha! It's going to be this one, isn't it? Dog beat, get out of the way! Carrying too much to be able to run. Well, we'll... we'll Keep what we need and get rid of what we don't. <clears throat> okay, right. So, I don't need the chef's hat. Why am I holding a baton? I don't want a baton. I want my pistol. Come, dog meat. What's on this terminal? Oh, that opened the door I just closed. Enjoy the ride? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be enjoying any rides at the moment. No, we are not. Okay, then. Well, well. Aren't you the overachiever? I've been admiring your handiwork. Who said that? We all have. You put on a good show. Maybe you're not useless after all. What? Our new friend surely has some questions. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. Name's Murphy. Head upstairs to the top floor. I've got a proposition for you. And don't worry. We'll play nice this time. This time? 
You haven't been very nice to me so far. Where am I supposed to be going? Who are you? Save your game. Uh, okay. I will do what it says and save the game. <laughs> if it's warning me to save the game, there's probably a bloody good reason. <clears throat> if it's warning me to save the game, there's probably a good reason. Just hold on a minute, dog meat. Stop being so impatient. You safe created. Okay. So what? Who are you? <coughs> okay then. All right then. Who are you? Who are you and why? Excuse me. Hey. Oh, you don't look very friendly. You don't mind me saying? How do I get upstairs to where this man is then? Hello? Oh my goodness. Hello? Hello? An assault rifle. Okay. Buff jet. Buff jet. Let's build some muscle. Let's build some muscle. Oh, I need water now. God's sake. Shouldn't have done that, should I? Shouldn't have done that. Where's your boss? I'm high as a kite. Where's your boss? There he is. Look. Hang on a minute. Um, just waiting for this high to stop being there. <laughs> ah, I think we're okay now. Hi. Now's not a good time. Let's chat later. Screw you then. Hello. Talk to me. <clears throat> Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? Um, is this how you treat every guest? Is this how you treat everyone? Or are you just putting on the charm for me? And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any misunderstanding. We're a shoot first, ask questions later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. What, so you Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing <laughs> you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they weren't a common criminal? Yeah, we're all friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. I didn't say After that. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on, I have some questions first. All right, humor me. What do you want to know? <clears throat> no, you humor me. I think I'm just going to advance the conversation because I don't really want to ask any of those things, but really, to be honest. What can you tell me about Stella? What can you tell me about the child? Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life, until the Institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom Judy after they fled to Quincy in 2285, helped them build a life for themselves there. And then the Quincy Massacre happened. What was the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we can get into that some other time. Let's just say that life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, 
but from our supposed friends who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents <laughs> ended up slaughtered by the gunners, Judy included. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. And that traitor Preston followed us here. I'm telling you, he was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street, and you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat? Both. I want justice for what they did to my mom. And like I explained, you'll get it if you have patience. Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now... Wait, hold up. You hear that? Oh, shit. Get a load of these idiots. Ah! Where are you? I can't even see you. Where are they? Oh my god. Where are they even coming from? I can't see anyone. She shoots, she scores. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Just shooting through the floor. Not very helpful. I rip your lungs out, you lousy creep. Oh, you got to be kidding. By someone on my own side. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Right, let's go through all that again then. Hi. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? Yeah, we did this already. Uh, make sure I choose the same options. Is this how you treat it? And a sense of humor? Hmm. Sorry for any... Uh -huh. We're a... Uh, hmm. yep. Don't misunderstand. Yep. Uh -huh. You yep. didn't know who we were. Yep. Thankfully. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, it's just yeah. Yep. we're all friends. That's right. Yep. Well, that'll... Hold yeah. on. All right. Okay. What can you tell me? Shut up. Stella. Her dad was... Uh -huh. Until the end. I met Stella. And then the Quincy. What was the Quincy? Yeah, we uh, just we, went through all this. But, but from her. When the... Uh -huh. I managed to get Stella out. And that... We did I'm that. We did that. Me. Shut up. Mm. You want oh. mm -hmm. Both. And Garvey will get... Wait. Uh -huh. I'm gonna let them do this. I am. No. I'm gonna let them handle this. In the meantime, I'm going to save the game while they handle this, simply because I... Oh dear. Should have put my gun away before I lit that. I'm going to save the game. Apparently my controls have locked now as well. Not sure what's happening there. Finish and save the game so I can lend a hand. Thank you. Shit. Ugh, damn my. Ooh, 
stuff. At least now if I die, it won't I won't have to go through that conversation again. Oh my god! What a big pile of wormings this is! Are you on our side? I don't know who's on whose side. Who's on whose... I don't know who's on whose side. Oh dear, this is a nightmare! What a way to start the game! I think I'll just let them I'll just I think I'll just let them handle this. Seems like the wisest move. Oh bollocks, no I'm carrying too much. What did I pick up that I shouldn't have? No. I'll shoot them if they come upstairs. How about that? done. Don't call me new blood. I didn't say I was joining anything. I didn't say I was joining you, so you don't get to call me that. Are they all dead? Oh. Well, he disappeared on me, didn't he? He disappeared on me, didn't he? Why is my, my carry capacity dropped all of a sudden? Oh, it's because I need food. Nope. Still need food. What is going on with my carry capacity all of a sudden? I don't understand why my carry capacity dropped. Is it because of tiredness, needing to sleep? Possibly. Where am I supposed to be going? Guys, are you all just not going to fight this guy? Quick, 
work of that. Who am I talking to now? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Hello everyone, how are you today? Apparently I'm talking to you. <coughs> hey, thanks for your help. Didn't expect help from a stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Well, those guys seem to be here. Uh, looks like it was your lucky day, I think. Looks like it was your lucky day. You can say that again. I guess it could have been a lot worse. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Well, we appear to have got off on the wrong foot. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Not looking to cause any trouble. You aren't afraid the gunners will... retaliate? It's gonna get worse. Way worse. Gunners never back down that quickly. They'll attack anyone they think is too weak to defend themselves. There's nothing left they're afraid of. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. I really like your armor. I want it. Uh, I think the Commonwealth is probably beyond saving, if we're going to be honest. The Commonwealth is beyond saving. Yeah, same story everywhere. Well, thanks for your help. Okay. Um... Are you interested in traveling together? Are you interested in traveling together? Hmm. Now there's a question I don't get every day. You know what? I'm gonna take a chance on you. Lead the way. Is hey. That... Hey, how's it going? Does that mean yes? Yes, it does. That's all for now. Thanks. Later, then. Right, good. Marvelous. Murphy, where are you? Where are you, Murphy? Oi! Oi, Murphy, you little shit, where are you? I want to have words with you. I don't. Oh my god, I'm lacking water again now. How did I get up there? How? I can't find my my route. Get out of the way, you silly people. Move it. You get out of my way. I'm feeling a little bit annoyed right now. I don't know if I'm going to suddenly turn into a nasty person. That's going back down. I don't want to go down. I want to go up. I want to go up, knock down, up, knock down, up, knock down, knock down, up. Up here, that's where I want to go. Look at that. Oh, look at me going back upstairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, you little bitch. Where are you? Yeah, you. I want words with you. <clears throat> I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You all right? Well, you didn't seem too concerned with my well-being when you locked me up downstairs and called me a slave, did you? No, that was interesting. That was interesting. It's complicated. What do you know about the gunners? Uh, well, are you in some kind of trouble? Are you in some kind of trouble? In a manner of speaking. No one's really sure where the gunners started out. <clears throat> but something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. It doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? That's a good question. I guess I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two Vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the Gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here in Concord? There needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. 
So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't defend what's theirs, or hardened killers who can handle themselves. I hadn't thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an over-threat. If you build a reputation for being a little crazy, your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost. So, they tend to avoid finding out. Settlers can't instill that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a chain of command where members don't feel too constrained by your influence but still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involve them in a cause, a crusade against a hated enemy, and make them see their survival as tied to the success of the militia as a whole. Of course, it's easier said than done. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. Some became raiders or joined the gunners. Others just disappeared. Quincy was the final blow. And now we're back at square one. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the gunners, the institute, or who knows what other groups are out there, they're too powerful to take on directly. So we've got to use our weaknesses as strengths. If your enemy is big, and you're small, then by extension, you're fast, and they're slow. You're hidden, and they're exposed. So we break our forces into independent cells who can operate elusively and autonomously. Fighting only the battles we know we can win, capturing the enemy's weapons and gear along the way. And using those tools against them in the next encounter. That way, the enemy is supplying us, and we grow stronger as they grow weaker. Makes sense, I suppose. What's our next move? The gunners are calculated and cautious. It's gonna take them a while to figure out what just happened, which provides us an opening. The critical elements in any campaign are speed and adaptability, making decisions faster than the enemy can. Striking first, before the gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. That's likely where the attack came from. The freeway wasn't particularly well guarded to begin with. Probably even less so after the raid. I want you to head over there, take out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons so we can fortify our presence here in Concord. Prove to me you can handle that task, and I'll have a larger project for you when you return. And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mark the location on your map. Okay then. Well, let me get out of the way of these people. Well, that was certainly an interesting start, wasn't it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's probably a good place to leave episode one. <laughs> and quite the start it was. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting it to be quite that bad. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy this series as it goes forward. And if you do, then let me know by hitting the like button on those videos. And if you don't, then don't, because that would be silly. And as always, I will see you next time. And I think we've got uh, Baldur's Gate tomorrow, and then Dark Skyrim. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Farewell!